Today we are going to be making raspberry Nutella French toast. Let's talk ingredients. What we have are two eggs, a quarter cup of heavy cream, a half cup of 2% milk, I have some hearty white bread, a pinch of salt, I have some icing sugar, I have one tablespoon of butter, I have one tablespoon of Nutella, one tablespoon of raspberry preserves, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and one tablespoon of white sugar. First what we're going to do is we are going to crack two eggs and scramble them. Sometimes you need to double tap on the eggs. There we go. Always crack it on a flat surface. Best way to crack an egg. Never do it on the side of the bowl. Get rid of that garbage. All right. Break the eyes. Throw in the tablespoon of sugar and a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Some people like a teaspoon. I love vanilla extract, so I always put extra. And you know what? A little pinch of salt. By the way, if you don't have a salt store, you really need a salt store. Something to keep in mind is that sugar is considered a wet ingredient, even though it's dry. And I don't think they consider salt to be a wet ingredient, but guess what? It also dissolves. Add in the half cup of 2% milk. Add in the quarter cup of heavy cream. Get every last drop of that. Mix all that together. Make sure that the salt and sugar dissolve nicely. Always have a clean work surface. Time to get a two slices of white bread or whatever bread you want, but I'm just using white. Go carbs. Now you don't have to do this, but hey, sometimes in order to make it look really nice, cut off the crusts, but you know what? You can skip this if you want to. I just decided to do it. And now we have some duck food. So what you want to do is you want to keep the white bread inside of the custard mixture for only about 30 to 45 seconds. Otherwise, the bread will get a little bit too soggy and it makes it really tough to get it into the pan without having the bread rip. I left it in the mixture for way too long as I set up the burner and the pan. Get out your favorite pan. This over here is my carbon steel pan, one of my favorites. Nicely seasoned. It's not dirt, it's seasoned. And you want to set your pan to about medium low because you want this to cook slowly. So that way the custard will cook properly in the middle and the outside won't just be cooked and the inside will be raw. So first you want to put down about a half a tablespoon of butter into the pan, kind of get it all nice and sizzly. Also, get prep bowls that your spatula can fit inside. It's so much easier. Now don't do what I did by leaving the bread inside the custard mixture for too long. Otherwise, it's really hard to get in there without it ripping. Whew, lucked out there. All right, and we're gonna let it cook up low and slow. go what you want is you want to cook both sides so that they are nice and golden brown got some nice color on there that looks good Now rotate the French toast so you get a nice even browning. As the second side cooks, what you want to do is you want to spread the Nutella on one side 
and spread the raspberry preserves on the other side. When you first put the Nutella on the French toast, it's going to be kind of stiff, but as the heat melts the, the fat inside of the Nutella, it's going to be much more spreadable. Once the Nutella and the jam has warmed up just a little bit, you are ready to make your sandwich. Flip one side onto the other side and now you have your sandwich to be eaten with a knife and fork. Pull it out onto your plate or your cutting board and dust it with powdered sugar. Don't be stingy with this either. You definitely want to have a lot. No cooking video is complete without a cross section. So here we go. Worst cross section ever, but close enough. I need to go ahead and put that into the wind column because you know what? It tastes amazing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care.